I just got done bawling my eyes out. So hopefully I'm pulled together enough here to do this live, but I thought I would share. This is mostly for the people who are already signed up for my Maui retreat. There's over 20 of you guys already signed up to come. And we have this, for this retreat in Maui that I'm doing in May, we actually reserved out the whole retreat center. So we have, if it would have been my last retreat, it'd be sold out already, but we have more spots. We've got 12 rooms left. So depending on people do share it or single, we've got 12 to up to 24 spots left at this retreat. I just want to share. Um, so this whole retreat thing has been this crazy intuitively guided thing for me. And I guess I'm crying. I want to tell you about the Maui retreat, especially those of you who are already coming or those of you who are thinking about coming. Let me tell you how this thing happened. So the first original pull for me to do retreats it was a very, very intuitively strong call to get people out in nature by themselves and allow them to connect to nature, allow them to connect to their souls and use the healing power of nature. I believe nature is a portal to utilize that along with the facilitation to create that space for people to go inside themselves and connect to themselves and find their own answers and reconnect to their hearts and their souls and their intuition. So we did one in Zion last year. It was unbelievably powerful but and so what happened was like I was just really in this intuitive space <sighs> processing that retreat and as I was driving around one day <laughs> shit you not I was listening to a voice memo from a friend in my car well, hear me out because this is really crazy I want you guys to understand like how I don't know spiritually guided this whole Maui retreat thing is if you're coming or thinking about coming I was listening to this voice memo in the middle of my voice memo, my car switches to like iTunes, like songs I've bought before on iTunes. I don't listen to music on even Apple music. I, I use YouTube music. So middle of the voice memo switches all of a sudden starts playing somewhere over the rainbow by is. And I know you guys all know that song. Okay. I've heard that song 50 million times. I used to be married to a Polynesian. We did luau's as like a side gig for 15 years. Okay. I've been to so many luau's and I have heard that song so many times, but for some reason it was just like, I was started to switch it off. I was like, what the freak? Why I'm listening to a voice memo. And I heard roll with it. And I just started bawling my eyes out, bawling my eyes out. It was just like, take them to Hawaii, take them, take them to Maui. And I like, got done. I mean, I just, I felt it. I was there and I texted Adam and Vanessa Lambert who do, um, be the wellness retreats, which are like freaking amazing. And I was like, it's gotta be Maui. They're like, what? I'm like, it's Maui. So anyway, that song, I just, I've been really in this intuitive place. And, um, I just listened to that song again, bawled my eyes out again. And I'm just sharing that, like basically what we're doing, this is the, the whole purpose of you guys know what I'm doing in higher coaching, or maybe you don't know, but what we do is Yes, there's all the health stuff and the biohacking and finding out what's going inside of you, but it's also so much mindset and soul work. And so that's what we're doing. So much of this process and the reason I like I'm so excited to go to Maui is because I've been exposed to a lot of Hawaiian culture. I, most of my friends when I was married, we were friends with a lot of Hawaiian people. I was very introduced to that culture and I've found how they connect to nature and connect to others, connect to their their community. In, in their mother earth and the respect and love and space that they hold for that is so freaking beautiful. So what we're doing is we're going inside of ourselves and I got some really cool shit, <laughs> some really cool shit lined up for you guys in terms of how we're going to do that. And, in, and we're weaving in Hawaiian culture all through the whole retreat. So we're doing pounding poi, having someone come teach us about that. Do you guys know about this? It's, um, Kalo is what they call it in Hawaii or a lot of um, other Polynesian countries, the taro, the taro root. It's like the, it's sacred and they come and they pound it into poi and it's a community thing. We're doing that. We're doing, we're learning hula. We're learning what that means. We're learning some of the traditional arts of um, making lace. Why? Why does this matter? What do the dances mean? Like why? Um, why does pounding poi matter? How do Hawaiians see life? So we're weaving all of that in. We're doing fun shit, of course. We're learning, doing surf lessons, or if you're too intimidated by that, we're doing paddle boarding on the ocean, which is gonna be epic. We're hiking. We're doing all that kind of fun stuff. We've got a luau lined up, all that kind of cool stuff, but 
what we're really doing is learning the process of going into stillness, going inside ourselves and connecting to nature, connecting to ourselves, seeing what's in there. We'll be setting a powerful intention for the retreat. Oh, this is the part I didn't even tell you about the Somewhere Over the Rainbow song. Get this story. Get this. <laughs> so the Somewhere Over the Rainbow thing happens. I'm like, we're going to Maui. And I took my kids down to Zion National Park area where I had just had the, my retreat. Like days, the next weekend, I had my kids, and I'm like, "We're going down there. I want you guys all up in that energy." I go to a freaking gym. So this is like four and a half hours away from my house. Okay, this is in the bottom of Utah. I live in the top of Utah. Four and a half hours away. I end up at the wrong gym that I didn't mean to go to. I'm like, "Oh well, whatever. I'll go to this gym." And I see this Hawaiian man that I see at this gym that I'm parked at right now. I see him here all the time. I've never talked to him or anything, but you can tell he's Hawaiian. He's got all his Hawaiian <laughs> Hawaii shirts and necklaces and stuff. And he, I, I'm, I was like, I, I didn't even see him. I'm, I was actually posting about the retreat we had just done the last weekend. And I feel his tap on my shoulder on the treadmill. And, and I look over and says, dude, and I was like, Oh my gosh, what are you, what? And he's like, I had to come say hi. That's so crazy. Like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, Oh, I'm just down here with my kids. And, He's, he's like, we start talking and I'm like, Hey, I got a question for you. I'm like, you're so you're obviously from Hawaii. I was like, if you were going to take people on a retreat to help them connect to nature and themselves and the divine and source. And as soon as I said that, I knew he, like, he was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, we're on this, we're playing in the same arena here. He was like, I was like, would you take them to big Island? Cause I was trying to decide big Island or Maui, you know, and we start talking and it turns out that what he did for a living, he's like in his sixties. What he did for a living was take groups over to Hawaii for his entire career. He worked for the tourism of Hawaii or the state of Hawaii or something, taking groups over and teaching them how to connect to the land, connect to nature, all of that gave me so many insights. And he actually wrote a chant for us Maui people. He wrote a chant just for us. I've been practicing it. We will be doing that, asking for permission to be there, asking the land to help us heal, asking to be connected to the divine. It's going to be unbelievably incredible. I am like blown away by how much as I get, I see as I get into process of intuiting information, I'm really just trying to channel information about what is needed at this retreat for those who are coming. I cannot stop bawling. I know that this is going to be an incredibly powerful event. And I can't wait to see all 20 something of you that are already signed up and possibly 12 to, you know, if you share rooms, we could make it more than 12. That's how many spots we have left. Lumeria, where we're holding this retreat. <laughs> it's like insane. The retreat center. And we're going to have it all to ourselves, you guys. It is going to be so sacred and powerful. I am doing, I, I, I am deep in process, deep and in intuitive process about what is needed for the people who are coming. The, you specifically. So, um, it's, it's going to be unreal. I hope that if this is something that's pulling at you, if you think you feel like you need like a, a reconnect to self, to source, to your higher self, oh, I'm cry. just to your heart, to your soul, like what's in there that needs to come out. That is what this is for. This is not just some, it is fun. <laughs> I will always have fun because fun is really freaking important to me. It's going to be really fun, but it's, it's more than that. It's, um, it's about creating space for you to get your own answers. And when we get still and we get quiet and we get in the energy of unconditional love, people around us, and if there's one thing I will set the tone for at all my treats, it is unconditional love and acceptance. So um, when you get into those spaces and you open that up for yourself, like it is unbelievable what can come through. But when we're in the monotony of just everyday life is the same repeat, repeat, repeat. It's just, it just you, you don't get torn open in the same way. So that's what it's for. It's going to be a hell of a time. And I, I hope that if you're considering it, that, that you join us because, um, I believe that every single person who is going to be there is meant to be there. I saw that at my last retreat. It was just like, <laughs> I'm like, that person was so healing for that person. And that person was so healing for that person. Wow. Universe, like well played. <laughs> so, um, anyway, the, the details are just like, if you click the link in my bio, there's a link right at the top of my website right now. Um, it's May 10th through 14th in Maui. If it's pulling at you, please make it happen. If you're getting an, an intuitive pool, to come, please make it happen. All right. Much love guys. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Bye.